Hey everybody, welcome to this week's training video. I'm going to try to cover this week's training with the kids and the dogs in the background as quickly as possible to kind of give you a heads up on what to expect this week. So Monday, remember, uh, real quick, we got six weeks until Hero Month. So the way we're going to do our strength programming leading up to this is uh, we, odd weeks, one, three, and five, we're going to do three days a week of strength training that's going to end up being like a couplet or some type of snatch or uh, Olympic skill work. And then on the even weeks, two, four, and six, we're going to have two whole body strength training days that we've been doing over since the beginning of the year. Now, I know a lot of you have expressed that you really like those, you're able to slow it down, learn the movements a little bit. So we're going to try to implement both of these uh, leading up to Hero Month. And you're going to notice on these weeks here, you're going to see a lot of dumbbell work, a lot of uh, asymmetrical work, single arm stuff, single leg stuff. And that's um, just to get preparation done. Take a little bit of the high intensity dynamic movements out of it and just focus now on one, trying to even out the muscle groups of the body. Uh, I know that's a very dumbed down version, but that's what we're, that's what we're looking for, uh, looking to do with Jacob and I communicating. Monday, starting off, everybody's favorite, Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna superset those with alternating single arm dumbbell bench presses. Um, both of those, then after that, we're going to lead it into an EMOM with a work rest ratio. You're going to be doing running, hand release push ups, kettlebell swings with another set of hand release push ups. Come in over here on Tuesday, we're going to have a straight monostructural day. So, this is going to be done as a team workout. You're basically going to have like 40 to 45 minutes to get eight to 10 sets of 500 meter row repeats. So that's me doing a 500 meter row repeat and then my partner doing a 500 meter row repeat. So the great thing about this is that we can get the intensity up per interval because you're gonna have that one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. For a lot of you, it's gonna be uh, that, for a lot of males, it's gonna be in that 145 to 157 time range. While the females, you might be 150, 155 to 205 or two, two minutes and 10 seconds of rest. So that's gonna allow us to keep our intensity really high, but we still want to find consistency. So you don't want to fall off for more than like three to five seconds of your first set. Make sure you choose somebody, make sure you choose somebody that is rowing around your ability level. Now, if there's nine people or less and we have nine rowers, obviously you could do your own thing and you don't need a partner for that. But if we have bigger classes like in our afternoons, you're gonna need a partner up for those. Moving on here to Wednesday, we're gonna work on some snatch work. So you have a snatch Daddy. complex to get started with. Daddy. Hang on, buddy. You have a snatch complex to get started with. And then after that, we're gonna do a quick chipper. This chipper is from .com, I really liked it. We're not gonna do GHD sit-ups. Um, we're gonna be doing V-ups. So with that, 50 V, it's a 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So it's 50 V-ups, 40 overhead squats, 30 box jump overs. 20 handstand push-ups followed by 10 bar muscle-ups. Then uh, Thursday is going to be a fun workout. I got to test this one out personally. Luckily, you could thank Logan Brown. He gave y'all rest intervals. And when I approached him with it, because I like to mix ideas off of people when it comes to certain workouts, he, he, uh, he came up with the one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. So what it's going to be, it's just going to involve three movements, toes to bar, power clean and jerks, and bar facing burpees. Each, each weight, each, uh, each section, you're gonna go down in reps, up in weight on the power clean and jerk. So how it works is gonna go 21 toes to bar, 18 power clean and jerks, 15 bar facing burpees, rest one to one. So if it takes you two minutes to complete that, then you're gonna rest three minutes afterwards. And then, um, then the next one is gonna be 18, 15, 12. So 18 toes to bar, 15 power clean and jerks, 12 bar facing burpees. If that takes you two minutes and 40 seconds, you get to rest two minutes and 40 seconds. And then so forth all the way down to nine, six, three. The weights are gonna start off at 95 and 65 and they're gonna end at 185 and 125. I was personally able to keep all of my stuff down to like 230 or less every time for the last set. I was like, well, 120 or 130 or something, something like that at 185. It was a really great workout. Logan put a really good spin on that with a one-to-one work-to-rest ratio. Thank you for that, Logan. 
Next is going to be Friday. We got dumbbell Arnold presses, super setting that with barbell RDL. And then we got a fun, it's written down as an every two minute EMOM. It's essentially an AMRAP. So we're going to be doing every two minutes, you're going to complete uh, four devil presses, eight box, box dumbbell box step overs. And in the remaining time, you're going to do strict pull ups on this. Now, let me preface over the next six weeks and what I've seen through the open. So this year in the open, we had very simple movements for the first two weeks. And then when you got to the uh, toes, the, ball, the uh, muscle ups and the uh, strict pull ups, the gymnastics is something that everybody wants to get better at. And over the years I've been doing this, I know so many people, they want to get a bar muscle up. And you have to be able to do strict pull ups efficiently and for high volume reps. If you want to stay safe, if you want to be able to do a bar muscle up safely. And so we're gonna do a lot of strict work this year. And in that, we're gonna find some skills and drills section to work on getting your bar muscle ups ready. And we're gonna work on the kips, work on just the pullovers, the transitions and all that kind of stuff. But we have to master the strict versions first. So we're gonna be doing a lot of that. If you got shoulder issues and all that kind of stuff, a lot of it probably stems from doing uh, the dynamic uh, pull-ups and all that. Remember when we were doing traditional kipping pull-ups um, for a long time? That's what we need to be focusing on this time of year. Now, with that being said, quarterfinals is, hang on, buddy. Quarterfinals is, uh, what, three weeks away or so? And I know we have a lot of people who qualified for quarterfinals. What you're going to see with all of these workouts is you're going to see a compete section. That's where our elite section was, and now it's a compete section. If you're looking to do quarterfinals, then you can do competing. So what we're gonna do for these days here, like max pull-ups on these days, you got max ring muscle-ups. Now, obviously, if uh, you're a quarterfinals athlete and you don't have ring muscle-ups, you can either do ring transition work or you can do um, strict chest bar pull-ups, which you should be able to do that anyways. If you wanna work on your stuff. We'll have a compete weight for here. The compete version for the chipper is gonna have 50 GHDs in it uh, for this workout. So if we have more than three people that are gonna be doing it, one of y'all just gonna to have to wait or just do the 50 GHDs at the, top, at the end of the workout. And then we, you'll see it all throughout, but uh, that's gonna be like our way, um, our stuff moving forward. You have the compete, RX, and the scaled versions. And I'm gonna to try to do these videos more often. I'm gonna to try to come out with little skills and drills Maybe some video to warm ups down here in my basement since I don't get to come up to the gym that much with that one over there running around that you probably hear in the background. But I want to be here to help y'all out the best I can. And this is going to be one of the few ways I can do that. You have a great week. Look forward to seeing your names and your times on the leaderboard. And once again, if you've got any questions, email me at info at crossfitbound.com.